Hello everybody, here I am again, <laughs> just making, guess what, <laughs> brushes. So uh, in this video, in this little video, I'm going to just show what I'm doing right now, just uh, reviewing some of the brushes that we already have. So you can see there are uh, a lot of uh, brushes here and they look the same because I'm not focusing icon design, which is pretty obvious is not working, I think, in my opinion. Uh, we need something uh, different, but for the moment I am focused on the behavior of the, of the brushes. So first of all, I have submitted uh, all, the, all the brushes that I am working on, and this is the blender uh, basic that we have um, by default right now at, at this moment and uh, it's the 15 50 pixels and these are the blender basic uh, too because i made a previous release um the behavior is different so nothing else to say just showing how they work so first of all we see that the performance is not not very good as we increase the the size by default we can get just a nice blend but as we increase the size we see that the brush is not working very well uh, as you try to blend uh, in, a, in a faster way so i have made some tricks to make more sensitive the the, the brush to the pressure and um, to be able to work as fast just a bit of lag because i am recording and i'm not using the just instant preview mode which is obviously faster but i prefer to test the the brushes first in the not instant preview mode so you can see here this is uh, faster and it blends also it blends all the diameter of the of the cir circle of the of the brush um, and now we have the blender blur which is uh, basically is the same issue as we increase the size it start to to lag um, i make something different just uh, increasing the, the size but focusing on the center as you can see um, a super uh, just here that uh, the effect of the brush is uh, focalized on the on the center so you can get a lot of detail with this you can blend very well no problem with that I think this is a very good way of uh, a blending. But you know, I like a lot the to move the paint like tra traditional um, elements like we do in oil painting or traditional techniques. So I use this. Um, and as I told you in the document, in the fabricator, we can control the, the color rate in not in the default but in in the review it this is that is controlled by the, the teal option so i can blend can blend very well uh, with goods uh, because this is f is for creative and it doesn't really matter if we have uh, some artifacts in some parts and i if i want to add color at some moment I can control the color rate and then I have color. And if I go if I want if I want to go back, just reduce the color rate and you're done. You have a, a blending again. Moving fast uh, because this uh, is a six thousand pixels document. 
I can increase the size, not too much, uh, 400 for this kind of rushes, maybe just laggy for big areas to, to cover. But if I use the instant preview mode, I can do it very well without any, any problem. Uh, and now we have this, which is uh, slightly different, which is very good to create um, just for example, tendrils uh, or like trees, because it moves the the paint this kind of uh, way, and we can paint. And you can see as I move the paint, I move in in some way that it creates dark side and the bright side. So it's really cool because we only just have to. Uh, create some branches to, to have a nice base to, to paint uh, a tree um, then add the leaves and, and this kind of stuff. This is the, the blender mover tenders and then we have the rake. The original rake uh, is softer in my opinion than, than I am expecting from a rake blending brush. So I tweak the values to create something more intense and controlled by pressure just to have a different range between the the parts of the image that the paint is moved. So we can have wide uh, rake or narrow rake or a smaller rake better said. Um, I think it's a good and nice uh, effect. Um, we can also use this, uh, which control to do the same trick. So you can paint, you can erase, pressing the E key, and you can also go again to the blending, only blending mode. I think it's this is something uh, I like it. Um, then we have the texture. The texture by default, it's it doesn't so uh, too much the the texture, for my opinion. Um, maybe the terms um, it it will be different for this kind of uh, brush. So I took the values again and create something different, something more textured look, and something that we can uh, just change the, the texture by controlling the, the pattern. And as we already have a lot of different patterns right now, uh, we, can, we can do a lot of uh, creative stuff. So we can go to this brush, for example, and what? Well, the next one is more, more obvious. It's the second uh, version of the blender, but, but with texture and and the effect. I think it's really nice. So you can have interesting effect, and of course, you can control the the color and add color in some areas you want it. So no need to have two brushes for for that. Just only one. And now we have the third version, and this is like the like the first one, but more texture, as I explained in the in the document. Now we have the the by default the blender water, which I think is just a bit rough in the in the corners. So I try to use another tip. Um, softer to create the the water effect. Uh, this is all trick that we used uh, time ago in my paint, so I think it's basically the same. Um, it's very very easy and produce good result. Um, but be careful because if we use it with bigger size, we can have lag. And the last one, 
is is this one which uh, produced like mm, so some water fringe edges um, of course we can create just part of the image to be colorized in some way and go back and change again uh, I'm going to disable the inside preview and you can see that we have a very very nice brush this is one of uh, my favorites to create random shapes watery effect um, texture just in in one brush uh, the most the one one thing that I like is is this kind of fringe edges that produce and the soft edges that produce the same the same tip um, that Kasu did in in the brush tip so this is my my first video for for development I I hope you you get the the ideas and I hope you like the the result so thanks for watching and make the Krita for release awesome thanks guys see you